All right, in this video series, I'm showing you a Meet My Classmates app. And essentially, it's an example where you can take some spreadsheet data. And in this one, it's just, you know, names, pictures of people, descriptions, and a location for them, a latitude and a longitude. And what the app does, and, it, you know, my tablet is showing up, is being projected on the computer screen here. But it shows all the people. And, of course, I'm, I'm going to touch my tablet. I'm going to choose one of the people. And when you choose one of the people, it brings up, um, you know, their information you can kind of next through. Okay, if I go back and live test again, I'll go back to the home page. Um, there's also at the bottom a map button. And right now the map centers itself in, at, in Kansas. So it shows the whole United States. Um, but, you know, you can make it center yourself and be zoomed to the certain amount. And in the previous video, I showed you how to do that. What we're going to do now is add markers. We want to add a marker for each of the three people. And basically, we want to add a marker at the, the locations identified by the latitude and longitude in this spreadsheet for each person. So Dave Wolber, a, a, a little marker should show up for him at this latitude and longitude. OK, so let's go to the blocks for the map screen. And you know what we need to do is right when this map screen opens, um, we need to do we need to do some work and we need to this is where we want to put our um our markers okay what we want to do since there's there's going to be three items we need to loop so we're going to use a loop and so i'm just going to bring out a, a loop this count with block and this lets you do something you know in this case you could say 10 times well you know we're probably gonna do something three times but i'll show you how to do do that in a second um, the other thing is we're going to need to get some data from the spreadsheet um, and what we're going to do is actually build three lists. So I'm going to create three variables and one variable is going to be my latitude list. Okay. And I'll just start this list off as, as empty. Okay. And then I'm going to have another one for my longitude list. I'll just call it the long list. Okay. It'll also start off as empty. This is before I grab stuff from the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to have one last variable, which is I need to grab the name names of each person. So I'm going to call this the name list. Okay. And what I'm going to do is grab my spreadsheet data, put them into these lists, and then I'm going to loop through these lists and make those markers show up on my map. Okay. Um, so kind of the first thing I need to do is grab my data. And, and so what I'm going to do is go to data sources. So this, this kind of represents my spreadsheet. And what I want to do is list get a list of values for for certain things so like for the lat list i'm going to set my variable lat list so i'm going to just drag out the one set block but i'm going to actually change it to lat list and i want to set that to from my spreadsheet grab um, the list of latitudes okay and I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to copy this block. And I'm going to do the same thing for my long list to get all the longitude. So these lists are going to be kind of synchronized, right? The first one of the lats relates to the first one of the long, second one, second one, et cetera. Uh, but just make sure you change these um, parameters here. So I'm getting my lat list, my long list, and then I'm going to paste it one more time. And I'm going to get my name list. OK, and all I'm doing is basically taking the spreadsheet data, putting it into these two lists, and then I'm going to use that information to put markers on my map. And the map component has, you know, a very kind of straightforward um, function called add marker. OK, and what I want to do is I want to count essentially through these lists three, you know, in this case, there's three items, but we'll change that three to be the length of the list. Um, and then I want to add a marker. Okay. And, you know, once I've got these lists, if I go to the list folder, there's a function called get, and that just lets me get a particular item in, in my list. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I want to in from my list lat list. So I'll grab a reference to lat list. I don't want to get the first item, but I want to get the ith item. Because this, this loop variable, basically, I is going to start off one. You're going to do whatever's in here. It'll come back around. I'll automatically get set to two. It'll do this. I'll get set to three, and it'll do this. 
okay? So I really wanna put the variable i here. And you know that, that i is kind of the loop variable and it's automatically created when you use account with block. So I'm just gonna go grab a reference to i. So each time through this loop, I'm gonna get the ith latitude. So the first time will be the first one, second time, second one, and so on. Okay, and basically I'm gonna do the same thing for um, the long list and I'm gonna grab the ith one. And then in the title, I'm just gonna put the name. So I'll just, you, for the title and description, I'll put, I'll put the name. So I'm just gonna command C, command V and copy this and command V it one more time. And um, you know, from both of these, I'm just gonna grab it from the name list. Okay, so this is gonna be for the first, the first time through is gonna be Dave Wolver and that first latitude longitude pair. Second time through is, is Tara and her latitude longitude, et cetera. And like I said, I don't really wanna put three here because what if I had more things in my spreadsheet? I want this code to work no matter what. So there's actually a block called length um, that you can use in, in, in list and here it is. And I'm just gonna say, I want to take the length of you know, I can grab any of these lists. They should all be the same, the same size, but I'll just grab lat list. So I is gonna start at one. It's gonna keep going until it gets to the length of the list and it's gonna increment by one every time. Okay, I don't know. I think I might, I might have it here. Um, so let's go ahead and test this, this guy out. So I've got my app over here. I'm gonna click on live test and make, let me make it so you can see this thing. So I'm gonna re, restart my app there's the there's the home page right i'm going to touch the map button let me restart restart again i'll click on live test uh there's my app and now when i touch the map button the map comes up and there's my markers Okay, notice there's three markers, which is good, but let's see if the name gets put on there. Yeah, and it has both the name and the description. So I could I could have put more information for the like the description. I could have put uh, the description, which is in the spreadsheet, but for now I'm just putting the name. But you can put whatever information you want there. Um, you know, be sure you um, set the provider of the map to blank, and that that means it's going to be if you're using an iPhone or set it to Google if you're using an Android. Um, but if you don't do that for the iPhone, then you won't get your markers correct. But anyway, now I have a map, I've got markers on it. And even if I had 10 things in my spreadsheet, I would end up with 10 markers on this map and the user can kind of navigate within the map all, all they want. 